day is spent on your own schedule within your ski groups. We've got a lot of sub sandwiches coming up from New York City Stubs in Bend. Uh, that should be here around noon. Hello, I'm Tandy Gooch, and I served in the United States Marine Corps, and I am volunteering today to help out some of our, our other warriors that are coming. My name is Jeff DeLeon, I was in the United States Navy, I was an aviation electrician on F-A-18s, I served from 1998 to 2000, I was injured in an automobile accident, and I'm now T-6 paraplegic, and I tell you what, I really uh, enjoy Oregon Adaptive Sports for getting us out here on this day, and we really Appreciate it. You're gonna make me cry, Jack. Ask him about the size of the ski that they were based on. 82nd Airborne Division. I've been out of the military 23 years. Jeff DeLeon, president of PVA, asked me to come up here. Awesome. So I'm up here with him. Awesome. And he gave me a vest to wear for PVA. Right on. And a hat. Right on. I've been a... retired for seven years, and he's given me something to look yeah. forward to every day. Great. I'm a proud supporter of PVA as well. Give me your first name again. I missed it. T O Double D. Thank you. Todd, it's on the name tag right there. There you go, Todd. All right. Oh. Yeah, my name is Jack Hall. I'm the Force Director of Oregon Paralyzed Veterans of America. I was in the Marine Corps in 63 to 66 in Vietnam. And this is my third time coming up here to uh, Heroes and Sisters. My name is John Dunbar. I was in the United States Marine Corps and I lost an arm and a leg in a motorcycle wreck. Oh, what are you going to ski today? Oh, I'm snowboarding. Oh, yeah. And I'm uh, going to hit any course I can. All right. We'll see you out there. Cool. Dennis Hooper, I was in the Army. I live in Rogue River. And I come up here every year for this great program and get out in the great outdoors. All right. My name is Kevin Vanel. I uh, was in the Army, C5 in the Army, for, uh, from 1996 until uh, 2005. I got hit June 13, 2004. Lost both legs to a grenade ambush. This is this is my third third year. Yeah, third year with uh, with the Hoodoo event, the Heroes and Sisters with the Oregon Adaptive Sports, and I enjoy it every year. So absolutely. All right. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Okay, we're here today with, with Oregon Adaptive Sports at Hoodoo Mountain Resort. And Oregon Adaptive Sports is a chapter of Disabled Sports USA. This is a heroes and sisters, people that are being served, or veterans of our wars, etc., who've been injured. Whether that came from their service or maybe after their service, they're still our guys. And there they go. There's a few of them there. I'm on the chairlift without a tripod, so if I zoom too far, it'll really get shaky. It's probably getting a little shaky now, but there they go. Tandy from Eugene, taking the trail. Is that Tandy, one of those? The one in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, there we go. Okay, we're on the chair with Gnarly Carly. Uh, that's, that's yeah, Carly, Carly Gnarly. He's Gnarly Carl, and, and he's on the big telly board. Oh, oh yeah. Big old fat boy. With a special adjustable shock unit. Okay, check. And keep those rigor yeah. I okay. feel the need, the need for speed. How can you make it a female do all the work? 
Like and here they come. She likes them a lot. <laughs> That's that stage for me, okay? <laughs> Where's Jeffrey at? Around in front of him. He's the president of the PGA. Yeah. He seems like a really nice guy. And there they go. Yeehaw. This is Carl. He's volunteering today as an accomplished mono skier. Oh, yeah, go Carl. Okay. First time. First time ever. One of our brave few. And you don't just jump right out on the snow. First, you got to get balance on your ski and all this. And this is what they're trying to teach them here. Just hopping around a little bit here on the snow. My name is John Ingalls. I was in the United States Navy. I served for about four years. I wrecked my motorcycle about 12 years ago. And I am here to enjoy the snow. Thank you. You're welcome, and this is your first time, I understand. This is my first time. Well, you are one brave individual, and we want to thank you for your service as well. Thank and, you. And uh, I know a lot of people that are rocking on one leg, so never say never. That's right, and God bless you, man. This is thank awesome. You. Thank you. Well, unfortunately, it's been a, a wetter day with mist coming down than we'd like to have for Heroes and Sisters, so I'm up in the lodge right now. Trying to get a couple window shots. I think that was George down there loading up. There they went. Okay, George. My name is George Hamilton. I was in the service from, oh gosh, for 20 years. I was a master sergeant in the United States Air Force, and I love to ski with OAS. Right on, George. And today is Heroes and Sisters, and these uh, participants are veterans of ours and whether they were injured in their service or not they're still our guys and we honor them and we thank them for their service thanks George thank you okay I want to give a shout out to the New York City sub shop and Ben for supplying lunch for a bunch of people heroes and sisters OAS thanks very much New York City sub shop my name is Garrett Jones. I serve with the 2nd Battalion, 7th Marines. Just like to thank OAS for making this whole event possible. Um, and in particular, Kevin and Mark Jarvis for giving me the invitation to come. My name is Brian Williams, U.S. Army retired. That I This is the third year that I've participated in the events with OAS. And every year, it just gets better and better. I look forward to this trip every year, and I appreciate the fact that what the what OAS is doing for the veterans to try and help them reach out to one another as a group instead of just as an individual so we can all get together and just have fun mingle for the weekend and just have a blast awesome my name is Jeff DeLeon I'm the president of the Oregon Paralyzed Veterans of America and I tell you what this Oregon Adaptive Sports uh, Heroes and Sisters is just an amazing event uh, the, the thought that goes into it the um, volunteers that are here it's just amazing to see how many people care how many people are willing to put in their time put in their effort to come and, and make an event happen for uh, some of the men and women who have gave so much for this country uh, to ensure that you know we have the freedoms that we enjoy every day and it's just so nice to enjoy this and be out here and, and the fact that they brought our families in and made it a family event um, that really makes it something you know that people want to come back to each and every year so we just definitely want to applaud them, their hard work, and, and it's amazing. Yeah, it's Jack so, Howell, yeah, definitely. Jack. He's, he's our yeah. sports director, and uh, you know he's up here. And this has just been, it, it's amazing, you know. Um, for them to think of us and to reach out to us, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's nice. It's nice to know that people care and people are willing to go to that extra effort uh, to make sure that, you know, that, that you're getting reintegrated back into society. Maybe doing some of the things that you that you did before. Uh, so many of these guys have maybe skied or, or or snowboarded before their injuries and thought they never would again. And Oregon Adaptive Sports is getting them back out here and doing that. Right on, awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you. 
Hey, my name is Chris Gray. I've been in the Army a little over 10 years. And once again, we've never done members here. It's always a, always a great time. I'm always having a great time. I admit, I, my instructors are great. And my, my instructors are very great. But I get to run for the money. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right. yeah, boy, hey. Well, look, hey, we, we all want to thank you for your service, and we're glad that you're here, and thank we're glad you. you're enjoying this. My pleasure. Okay, thanks. Okay, we got some of the boys getting ready to go out here right now. More over here. We've got Tandy over here. She's getting ready to go. We got. Gnarl Carl over there getting ready. Oregon Adaptive Sports. Heroes and Sisters today. Honoring our veterans. Okay. Oregon Adaptive Sports. There they go. Now you notice Tandy's got a vest on. Because he's volunteering today. Real wet snow today, not a lot of speed in it. As you can see when they get to the bottom, it's time to push. And here they come. Oh, he's coming by, he's coming by fast. They're pushing off the snow. There they are, there he goes. They're pushing off the snow for the group yeah. meeting. The group, the group picture soon coming yeah. up here. Hey, We're going for the group, oh, yeah, the rock. group picture. Yeah, oh, they yeah. they do rock, don't they? They do rock. Okay, this guy's a participant right here, and he was really camera shy. He did not want to go on the camera, but he is a veteran of our service, and we just want to say thank you, bro even though we didn't get your name. There he goes. Oregon Adaptive Sports, they're the ball on. That's why I sing this song. And they get people on the snow. The disabilities, don't you know? Oregon Adaptive Sports, yeah, they're the ball. Oregon Adaptive Sports, they're the ball arm. That's why I sing this song. They take the disc out of ability ease. They're gonna get you on some skis. Oregon Adaptive Sports, yeah, they're the bomb. Oregon Adaptive Sports, breaking boundaries since 1996. Setting up for the big group photo. That's gonna be hard. We got an awful, awful lot of people here today for heroes and sisters honoring our war veterans or veterans of service our military veterans we're going to adapt this sport breaking boundaries since 1996 okay there Starting to get lined up down there. Organ adaptive sports, they're the bomb. That's why I sing this song. They take the disc out of ability ease. They're gonna get you on some skis. Organ Adaptive Sports, yeah, they're the bomb. Organ Adaptive Sports, breaking boundaries since 1996. Heroes and sisters, 
We're going to adapt for support. What a crowd. What a crowd. It's a beautiful thing. Thanks to our vets. People getting ready to go again here. A bunch of them. A whole bunch of them. Oh, there we go. This guy said he was successful on his first one-legged adventure. Let me go say hi to him. My name is John Ingalls. Well, why are you smiling so much? Because this is a lot of fun. Yeah, I heard that you, that you did your first one-legged adventure, and they told me that you made it all the way down without falling and all this stuff. That's twice. That's twice. Yes. That's and now twice. I need to go on a big one. Yeah. Well, I, unfortunately, I can't come out and follow you. I've hung up the camera. But uh, I just had to get that smile on your face. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. It's been a lot of fun. Well, be good now. I don't know. I won't get caught. Once again, we well, thank you for your service. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm here in my front aisle. I was in the Marine Corps for two and a half years. And I love my dog. All right. All right. You love your dog? Yeah. <laughs> What's the dog's name? Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty dog. That is a pretty dog right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, look, I want to thank you for your service, and mm -hmm. I hope that you're enjoying your time up here with the OAS. Oh, I am. I love you. All right. Smile for me. Come on. There you go, brother. Okay. Yeah. Checking out.